Well, hello everybody. Let's uh, take some time and look at some of these wonderful food shots for this uh, assignment. Uh, sorry this video is a little late getting up. Uh, I, I've been traveling quite a bit in the past couple of, of days and it uh, put me behind a little bit. But let's take a look what we have here. I think we have some nice shots. And we have Tracy Sutherland. Um, two different versions. I, I like parts of the first version and I like parts of the second version. Let me tell you what I love. I love the lighting on these leaves, Tracy. I really do. Um, just slightly backlit, letting it wrap around here. Got some nice light all the way. We got some nice light on top of the avocados and the garlic. That looks really good. This is a little static though. I see what you what you you changed it up from a everything has its own place um, type of shot to a very um, tightly woven a uh, shot that has more of a um, a feel of uh, of, gr of grouping that everything is uh, dynamically interlaced here uh, and we don't have any uh, tangents to worry about. Um, do like the little highlight here on the on the uh, bowl? Fantastic. The leaves suffered a little bit in the light because the leaves are so much better than this top one, but um, it's not a, it's not a it's not a uh, deal killer. I like the light on your top one better than I like the light on the bottom one. So maybe if we take the light from the top one and combine it with this very nice, elegant design that you have here on the bottom one, that would be great. I think I would crop this in just a little bit over here. We've got it cropped at the top. We've got a tangent right here on the side. Let's maybe bring it over here. Let that crop go um, uh, out the right side there as well. Uh, nice, nice design and a nice circular design. Well done. Oh, and your lighting? Okay, okay, great. You're using uh, real simple lights. Um, your light, uh, this light right here, can actually come in way closer. Could actually come in right to here. Uh, where you put that light makes a big difference in where the where the size and the the specular of that uh, hot spot of this light will show. Because no matter what you do, you can get a little hotter, brighter here than on the edge. That will show in your in your product down here but go ahead and get this thing right down next to it next time I think that that will uh, make you a, a, a bit of a better shot Alex Halatsis cooked fish um, Alex the Alex the, the, the light looks like it's coming from the side or the top here it's got a little bit of a hard light here uh, that's a stylistic choice so I'm gonna let that uh, that be your call Looks like we've got uh, two. We've got a soft box and a little bit harder light. Looks like right under there. Um, can't see. This looks pretty hard right here, pretty dark, but that's a little opened. Okay, so there may be some other things going on. Let me tell you what I like about it first. I do like the uh, water drops on the knife. The knife's got a beautiful highlight on it. Gradients, gradients from the top. I made that word up. Uh, and and uh, got a nice feel if the utensils are in the shot they have to be lit well I don't know what that is maybe that shouldn't be there they clone that out in Photoshop now the light itself is really flat it looks to me like like the light was so far away that we got a bit of a heavy uh, edge to the shadow a bit of a sharper edge to the shadow and we didn't pick up any glisten from the the light itself got a little bit on the tomato there and a little bit right here, but would really, I mean, this fish could have a beautiful, beautiful highlight down it. So let's uh, look at bringing your light in just a little bit closer. GKMB. Um, GKMB, I, uh, I see you got a light right, looks like it's right either on camera or just below camera here. Let's see, no, no setup shot. Um, and that gives a very open, bright feel to it. Um, this guy, Got a lot of speculars going on there. That tells me that we've got some smaller light sources going on. We've got one light source up here somewhere for this and one light source here. Uh, looks to me anyway. Yeah, potatoes have two speculars on them as well. Um, and I, I think I know what you're trying to do with kind of a modern approach. You do have a nice highlight in the, in the knife there. Nicely done. A little bit of a reflection there. That's nice. Um, just watch that these speculars don't get too out of control here. Um, compositionally, I, I, you know, you got a, this zigzag thing happening here that's kind of neat. I, I don't mind that at all. Not at all. Nice. And we scoot down, and this is what eats up the uh, 
uh, bandwidth. Anyway, M Whitehawk says, "All right, we've got this. Uh, so this we've got a light from the top right. Um, this went out of focus. This is a stylistic thing on your on your uh, part, uh, Whitehawk. I'm not crazy about it because it's such a big part of the shot." And it pulls my eye. I'm looking, looking. Oh, I see that. Yeah, and I come over here. And, oh, I go right back to this out of focus thing here. Because this is out of focus here and it goes right into a focused area there. Compositionally, nice. Got an X, X going on here. We bring in the eye back in, bringing the eye back in. Nice use of crop. If you're going to crop something, might as well crop it. Uh, so we're bringing in the uh, chip beef and the toast, uh, the milk. This, this bothers me. Now, if one thing I would do is, and it looks like we've got a nice, fairly bright light from the back. I see the shadow here. I see hot spots here on this, on the flower. Um, maybe we could mitigate a little bit of this background being so bright and letting our eye escape and knock this down by a little low board, right out, a little low uh, uh, flag or something, right out of picture range. So if there was a little you know one inch tall or two inch tall flag right here running this way it may cast a bit of a shadow forward uh, and give us a little bit of an edge to keep our eye back in here bread looks good meat looks pretty good looks like we've got uh, a good composition going on here so the, the my my points were about this um uh, this being out of focus maybe a little bit of uh, gradient on this background very clever <laughs> well done uh that's neat okay all right so this is how we lit it um okay and i'm going to give you the same criticism that i'm going to give probably a lot of folks that umbrella should be right here get that light in as close as you can get it you'll get much better light this light source becomes small and specularly out at that distance we get these little bit hard shadows you get that thing in close and it wraps um, so try that uh, and this is very clever now this one I would have probably taken this the whole table over here and shot it there where that light is so close to it try it you'll uh, you'll like that light Hanson M candied bacon cashews all right really really pretty light Hanson very nicely done um, got a nice gradient back here all of this, the water even looks great here. Nice little highlight right here, which tells us this is liquid. Gives us that little sort of raised edge that liquid will do on, uh, on any uh, in any container. Beautiful light here. Um, got a setup shot? No. Oh, I wish we had a setup shot because uh, I think this is really well done. Uh, not, and I should I should have started uh, stated the uh, at the beginning. Not really sure where I'll put the type, but probably right in there. Uh, maybe the type would fit right down here. Um, nicely done. Bacon looks a little dry. Uh, Q-tip with a tiny bit of uh, olive oil. Make that bacon look really, really crispy and fresh. Okay, John's chicken sandwich. Bring it up a little bit larger here. Okay, John, we, I, I'm going to go back and look at your setup. The setup light's coming from the back, which is giving us a highlight down the middle of this uh, mustard. And we may, I would prefer to see that down the, the side because that grabs my eye. Why? Because it's a very bright thing against a very dark thing. Um, the, the little bit of hard shadow that we see here, very stylistic. But, the, but it looks like we've lost the texture in the, in the bread. And the cheese is a little bit right to the top, so we don't really see anything in the cheese except the highlights and the shadow here. We're not really seeing the cheese. Um, your light coming from behind gives you a angle of incidence, angle of reflection to the camera, angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So we're going to get hot spots right across that plastic wrap. When I do anything with plastic wrap, pretty much guarantee I'm going to move my light to the side so I don't get that angle then the angle of incidence would be angle of incidence angle of reflection would be over here my camera's not here i want to get that reflection so it's not in my uh surfaces here uh and that would also clean up a little bit uh of stuff in here so again i would get that light to the side john and and uh, 
uh, keep the textures in your in your your stuff oh okay so we got a light above the top as well okay um, that's again an angle of incidence angle of reflection this is probably not a big problem with this but I'm sure that is angle of incidence angle of reflection and the camera is right about there you see what I'm saying so we're seeing it good all right, I'll, and this one is Thad G. Thad, welcome to uh, Project 52, and welcome to everybody on here that uh, that uh, have uh, new names, and I'm getting to see your work and following along and seeing what you're doing. Really, really nice. I love your soft liquid highlight on the side of the, of the bottle there. This over here looks to me like it's the ice thing, okay? So you really can't do much with that. It's going to be what it is. We got a light from the left, which gives us a nice specular on the on the lemon and on the orange and on the edge of this orange. It really gives us a nice edge to all of our subjects, and I like that. Had we turned this lemon just a little bit more towards the light source, we would get all those nice speculars in the lemon where it would look really, really flat, fresh. Um, ice looks good, so. Um, I know some folks were playing with ice and thinking, oh, well, ice is, is terribly hard. It really is. So you use fill-in ice to get your shot ready um, or even a fill-in pitcher to get your shot ready. Then you grab really fresh ice, toss it in there, make your shot. As you all, all of you have seen, setting up the shot takes forever. Making the shot is just a few seconds. I mean, you just bracket through if you want to and you're done. Um, not a whole lot of, of shooting. Much more in the setup. Uh, I like this. That little specular there bothers me, uh, but it's not a deal breaker. It's just something to be aware of. Little things like that can be, you know, something uh, the eye can be pulled to. Nice fill card on the sides of these things. We never lose the bottle. We never lose the edge of that. Nice work. Savannah. Savannah MD. All right, Savannah. Um, one thing, let's uh, let's let's talk about. Uh, uh, we we need to get a highlight on this rim here so we can see that it's liquid because this and this almost look the same. We know it's liquid, but we really want to be reminded of it's liquid. So sometimes a little white card uh, suspended somewhere will just give that that liquid angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So I back be back behind the set a little bit. Uh, and angled to the light so it's bright and this that might give you a little bit of a highlight there that looks pretty good same with the white we'll be able the milk we'll actually be able to see that it's liquid if we get a little highlight in there as well same with the water here now pretty light across the flower flower is hard to photograph you did a nice job with that um, and I like your composition cropped 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 so you're forcing the eye to come back down into the picture uh, where all the action is um, That's, that's a tangent right there that doesn't really kill me, doesn't really hurt, you know, make me crazy, but I would watch out for it because you don't have them anywhere else. So either have this one overlap or back it off just, I'm talking an eighth of an inch, um, then, then everything fits in here. We've got a nice overlap there. You've got a nice overlap here. We have an overlap there. All those overlaps bring things together uh, in the viewer's eye and our eye. Okay, Podolsk. Podolsk went for a real very modern uh, approach. Um, I, uh, I gotta tell you, those really vibrant colors you know, catch my eye and uh, maybe an art director's eye as well because it's very unusual. Um, is that macaroni and cheese over there? We have a macaroni and cheese sandwich. Um, ah, okay. White balance problems. Um, okay. Uh huh. All right. Um, your light is just your ambient light, so we need to get a light source that you can control. And Podolsk, that doesn't have to be a, uh, a ten thousand dollar bronze color unit. Believe me, um, that can be um, simply a uh, we call them Home Depot lights, little clamp lights. Grab a little clamp light uh, and put a scrim in front of it, uh, like a um, uh, get a mat uh, from a framing store, 
get a mat, and in the hole, let's say you get a 16 by 20 mat with an 11 by 14 window cut out of it. Uh, stretch across that window some uh, wax paper or a little bit of a shower curtain or some silk doubled up and then use that with the uh, clamp light behind it and you'll be able to have very professional look li looking lighting uh, with almost nothing. Daylight is uh, a great thing as well. Color balance is way off but not you know could be part of the style. Now let's look at the shot. It's crooked. And when you see we come down all the way to here and we crop in here. When you're gonna create this kind of shot which is a graphic photograph make sure the graphic part of it is perfect. Um, I gotta twist this a little bit. I gotta crop in over here but make sure the graphic part of the image that you're going for is perfect because it looks wrong here and I know what you were going for but it doesn't work because of that little bit of a of a change up so change that fix that as well uh, out here much better see how much better this is uh, still looks like the cameras leaning a little bit because we've got the same point of entry here oh no it's awful just a, just off a tiny bit but enough that it makes the picture look like it's leaning so be very very careful with that Let's get down here. Lisa Kajanin, raspberry smoothie. Okay, and we've got the pouring milk with the uh, the um, uh, bubbles, which looks really nice. Nice highlight on the raspberries here. Uh, nice. See, where we have this little tiny rim light right here. That tells us it's liquid. Everything is placed uh, on the on the on this in a nice presentation the angle for me isn't enough if we're gonna tilt it really tilt it if we're gonna make it straight go straight to me it's not quite enough need a little bit more on that angle looks good though uh, from a styling standpoint well done this little dark area up front here looks like it got wet um, lighten this with your clone stamp just lighten up the, these pixels so it looks a little even there because no matter what you do when you look at that you go down that stain and you don't want that on your background yeah good all right and this is how we did it okay um, guide light only and looks like we've got uh, bounced fill feather bounced backlight okay um, cool all right so you're bouncing it off the wall for your light um, and I think that gives you a pretty darn nice light Nice highlight right here. Nice big broad source helps here. Um, a nice styling on the raspberries. Those are hard to find sometimes and get them perfect. Good work. And we're down to Travel World. Travel World, the shot looks a little dull. Um, got these deep shadows in here. And this stretching up, I'm not sure what's happening with that. Um, it doesn't look poppy to me. Let me look at your light. We've got, um, that's the lemon reflecting up there. That's, this is this orange bowl. You can see it reflecting up there. This is coming off the background. Do we have a, okay, we don't have a setup shot. Looks to me like your light was very far away. It looks to me that way anyway. So if you can uh, uh, help us with that, that would be nice. This shot needs to come up at least a half a stop at least. I mean my speculars and my lemon are just kind of dull. Um, I'd like to get it up about a half a stop so we can see it. Let's lighten up the beans. Let's lighten up the edge of this kale. Let's get this looking pretty good. These cherry tomatoes should look nice and bright and and um, uh, have some nice speculars on them. So I don't have your lighting set up. I think that now uh, design wise uh, very nice. Your design is clean. It's it's very modern. Uh, we don't have any terrible uh, tangents. We've got a little tangent here with the uh, lemon and the, and the bowl. But you know what? Lemons lean against bowls. So, you know, all there's no tangents down in here. There's no tangents right in here. That's fine. Uh, these two bowls don't touch right there. So that's just fine. Um, so your design looks really good. It's just there's a lighting thing here. That's uh, we need some fill cards, I think, to the side and maybe even one to the front. We need some cards in here to get these cherry tomatoes to light up. 
Lola takes pictures, Lily in Peoria. All right, Lily, what we got here? We got uh, some beautiful highlights on this. Nice background, Lily. I like your little um, uh, shadows here. Soft and, and uh, they're soft shadows, but they're what I call remarkable shadows because look what they do. They set off the, the uh, garlic. They set this plate off. That little shadow really sets that plate off. The little shadow really sets off the glass, and the same with the peppers down here. The, look at that little shadow. It just sets that thing off really nice. Looks like a window light, maybe. Uh, oh, the lighting info. AB800 to a softbox camera right. Black cards on camera right, and behind subject, white card on camera left. Oh, okay. Uh, lighting info for above, AB800 through softbox camera right, white card on camera left. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, that white card is what's giving us these reflections. That and the uh, and the softbox looks like these. You know, these are reflections of the box, the softbox. Those areas are reflections of the fillboard. This is the fillboard. That's the softbox. You see the difference? Softbox is a light lighting source. The fill card will never be as bright as the source. Lily, I like your design as well. You cropped out the two dishes just enough to show us what we needed in them, brought in the chili peppers, and we've got the shot. Um, that looks pretty, pretty darn good. I'm going to jump back up here real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure. Uh -huh -huh. Nice, simple. Okay, got it. I didn't, uh, it was the pros that had to leave room for the recipe. You guys didn't have to do that. All right, so we're good. Zip right down. Hi, yeah, that's a e ticket on that one, isn't it? Zipping on down. Look at that. Uh, okay, Tammy, really, really like this very backlight that you've got going on here. This looks like light, this looks like in a kitchen somewhere. Uh, where the, the window light is, the window's open. We've got this beautiful light coming from the back. Give that great specular here. Uh, this is Tammy. Tammy, this is a really nice shot. I love that. And as it comes around towards us and starts to go dark, nope, she's got a nice little fill coming on here. We've got, we can see the surface up front. I love little areas like that. That really gets me. We can see the surface up here. We can see these onions are lit. We've got the nice highlight right here that you can see the fill card here and the and the main light back here uh, carrot look how the carrots line up and give those highlights really really feels nice Tammy that's a beautiful uh, photograph with this is too dark we need to bring this up a little bit maybe a little bit of Photoshop uh, or Lightroom or whatever it is that you use to to uh, bring those areas up don't let this uh, these sprigs of air uh, sprigs of whatever those are uh, rosemary or whatever don't let them die back into here get some life back into them and I love the little soft shadows from the, the light above beautifully done David Mayer Maynard David Maynard um, okay David good we got a nice soft box over the top um, the wood grain is is it crooked? Uh, just looks like it's just a little bit crooked, David. Maybe. There you go. No, that looks pretty cross, straight across. All right. Well, we'll let that go. To my eye, there's something that looks like it's leaning up about a two degrees. Not much, but enough that it catches my eye. But I, I, it may just be the grain because that one does look pretty straight across. Okay. Uh, nice backlight, so we get the nice light on the olive oil. The cheese looks pretty good in here. You kept all this texture here. Now this guy's lit up. Um, I don't. I don't know how he's he's that bright. So it looks to me maybe another light over here coming in, and uh, I see a light on this butter. We got another light over here. We have another we have a setup shot. Uh, setup shots are great, folks. Just take a step back and shoot the thing so we can see it. Uh, I didn't. I should have mentioned that. Uh, so we got one light. That's all I'm seeing here. Uh, on the specu uh, specular here 
And then this kind of goes dead over here, David. And I don't want it to go dead. I want another white card over here to light this up. To give this pan some, some more uh, light in here. But not enough to kill these shadows. So you might have to carefully place a small card over here just to give, give yourself this white um, edge here. Also got to do something with the handle. It can't die down here. This, I don't know what that is, but um, it's a little bit dark. Bring that up a little bit. Uh, overall, composition, fantastic. We wrapped around here, brought brought everything's that cropped a little bit. This is cropped, this is cropped, 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 the butter. These things are not because that's where the action is right in the middle. Okay, good. Red pixel photography what, with red meat, yes, and mushrooms. Okay, red pixel, I kind of like your light from the back. Uh, look how pretty it is right in here, guys. Look how pretty that light is. It's just lovely, catching the edge of these mushrooms. Look at that, right? And we bring a light from the front. However, the light from the front's a different color. Um, this seems a different, this seems very blue to me. Um, we got a hot light and strobe, maybe? Or that doesn't look that wide, but it might be. Um, anyway, that that's uh, uh, interesting, and it can be stylistic, so it's not wrong. It's a stylistic thing. We got all this plastic beautifully lit. What a fun idea. Use the plastic uh, to set off the meat, and the meat has a nice highlight to it. I think that highlight is coming from this this one so it's catching the ribs of the meat and we're just seeing these little highlights I think you would have liked the highlights better on the meat if you'd taken that light and put it up here so it came down and bounced to the camera angle of incidence angle of back of uh, reflection the reason is we get the speculars which are kind of fun but we don't get the meat it just it doesn't really have any texture because our lights coming towards it catching only on the edges and then coming back to us. At least that's how it appears to me. So uh, send me a, an email or, or pop in the comments on the assignment and let me know if, uh, if, I'm, if I'm off base on that. That's what it looks like. All right. Par is positive, or par positive. Um, light looks, uh, looks like window. I can see all kinds of neat things in the reflections here. So it looks like window light. I uh, don't know if there's a fill card over on this side. There's something over here, I see. Um, what do I, what's bothering me about this? This is kind of dead back here. Because you know what, what I, lo I love this, this area right here. The middle of it works really well, right here. And then when, as we go out, it kind of like, well, what's this and what's this? You know, it's not, I think it's the angle of the camera, part positive. We're coming at it, and maybe we should be coming down on it more. Then we'll see more of this bottle. Because we've got this really interesting bottle. I can't really make out what it is. And I think it's kind of impossible, uh, kind of important to the shot. The basil leaves, nice, nice here. Okay, okay, I can see my highlight right here on the basil leaves. So we got something coming from the side. And I think we need to get maybe back this way a little bit more. Some uh, it's like a fill card there, doesn't it? That's something going on in that cap. Um, and the shot looks a little bit dull, so let's pop it up in Photoshop. Uh, but that's a that's a very good uh, first attempt. Absolutely excellent. Pete Hudek, wow, Pete, lovely shot. Look at that, great highlight. It's just to the edge here on this strawberry. Just. I mean, strawberry, <laughs> lemon. It's just to the edge. So it has a real strong feeling of daylight. I actually like the top shot better than the bottom shot. Bottom shot works. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pete knows what he's doing here. Absolutely. Great job, Pete. Yep. I can play with a copy on the bottom one if I'm the art director. But as a pure photograph, I really like this. Look how pretty that water looks. Sparkling through there. The light's coming through. Giving us all those natural funky little shadows and, and bits of light. And we, of course, got a fill card up front to keep these strawberries looking good. Well done. Look how well styled the strawberries are. Pete, that's a, that's a winner. That's a winner there. Jorge was the food festival. Wow. <laughs> uh, 
So he had to, he stole their crab, made the shot, and gave it back to them. Um, sometimes that's all the time you have when you're doing travel food photography. Uh, clever. Uh, I, 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 th I think it's really clever, Jorge. Um, now, here's what I would do. I love the light on the top of this thing. Your depth of field is great. Got the little crab. He's nestling the chili. He's coming. He's on the march, right? And then we have his specular back here. Kill the specular. Just just get in in, in uh, Photoshop and just get, get you this you know nice little thing here. And just start to, to uh, very subtly take that back down to a gradient. So our eye doesn't look at the at the crab and go up and go up and go up. We don't want to go up. We want to go, oh, it's dark. We don't want to go back there and come back in. Um, clever work. Clever work. NN dollar dollar. Um, I must say NN dollar dollar. When I saw this picture uh, earlier when I was going through it, it just stopped me. Um, I don't know if you've shot food before. We'll find out. Um, Oh, there's a behind the scenes as well. Uh, if you've shot food before, if you have not shot food before, my oh my. If you have shot food before, it really shows. Wonderful attention to detail, surface, color, light, design. Um, it's just beautiful. We cropped out the napkin. We cropped out the pasta. We cropped out the uh, oil. We cropped out the... the um, the garlic and we even cropped out one of the chilies because we brought the eye all the way back in here and lovely use of vignetting uh, looks like it's done in the in the uh, um, in the shot as well we go look at this uh, okay nice setting up the shots yes Exact. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're bouncing light off a different thing. Let me go back to that one. Thank you very much. We're bouncing. We've got some cards in the way to block. Thank you very much. I go back here. Block it. Uh, look at these little things here. So this is. Uh, um, this looks like someone who's shot. Uh, who has shot um, food before or some kind of tabletop. Uh, beautifully done. And then dollar dollar. Beautifully done. Uh, Eric. Eric Ringstorf. Uh, we go from something very moody. Look at this really moody sh shot. To something very open. Um, uh, fresh. I, lo I love your highlights right on the tops of these things. I like the fact that they go right to the edge. Really keep it bright. I like this little texture in here. Um, even the board. Even this thing up front looks pretty good. Maybe... Um, burn this in a little bit so it stays the same color doesn't let our eyes drift off over that spot uh composition um yeah uh we got the pasta we we know we got the windows for the pasta we have everything and everything circles back around composition looks good good choice of cherry tomatoes or tomatoes uh look how pretty those stems are got to really watch those stems folks if you go to a store to buy tomatoes for your your shot and they got the really crappy stems you got to move on you just have to because it's just not going to work the eyes will go right to those terrible stems uh, overall good shot good shot you're, you're very bright back here and it has a nice feeling of, of uh, naturalness to it we get this nice texture yeah good shot good shot Heiderini okay Heiderini looks a little flat we're getting a very flat shot here even though we're right to the edge on these mushroom, these uh, uh, well, I know, marshmallows and this stuff here looks like we are losing a little bit of texture in there. The egg looks pretty good. I'm wondering um, if it's uh, do, 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 do. Um, okay. I think we need a bigger light source in closer. I'm not seeing very many speculars on these guys here, and I want to. I want to see the light reflecting from these raspberries and berries. So let's get the light in really close, um, and we'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, let's bring bring this back into Lightroom or uh, uh, Camera Raw, and before you export it out, let's lighten these guys up in here. Let's get a little more light and clarity 
on these things because we need it. Um, we need that that definition. Cool, and welcome to Project 52, uh, one of our late starts and catching up nicely. Damian Powell. Wow, Damian. Texture, texture, texture. Okay. Um, uh, cheese grater works well. Cropping it out lets us know that it's there, and I love the fact that it's got the cheese on it. Thank you. I hate it when they... I really do. That's a personal thing. That you'll stick the cheese grater, and it's all clean, and you see the grated cheese, and you want... Well, how they do that? Uh, that doesn't doesn't work for me. Nicely done in here. A little bit of uh, depth of field challenges down in here, which are what you wanted, I imagine. So we're you know this is gets sharp and it gets a little bit soft, and we pick up the very sharp bread, and the very sharp bread, and the very sharp edges of the spoon, and this goes a little bit soft, and that's in nice and sharp. So this is all done on purpose. This is what I call deliberate photography there's nothing on here that's by accident those um, shavings going out of focus that's part of the deal here uh, what I like to do Damien is to get out some kind of reflection in this because it kind of goes dead here the big area of black and if we had a little reflection of a white card somewhere just look through your camera and wave that white card around somewhere so it's catching the light you remember you want the white card to be bright this will reflect it you don't think of bouncing the light uh, from the source bouncing it to here think of this thing reflecting that whiteboard uh, That would have helped this area a lot And I think I would probably burn down this side of the cheese grater just a little bit take it down 20% or so So the eye doesn't escape out this this thing here uh, good good use of cropping and uh, beautiful texture on the bread nice light nice light all the way around uh, Christine I don't know what happened here, but I'm not seeing it. So let me know what happened um, to your shot, please. Captured Grace. All right. Um, we angled it, but it looks like we angled the camera. This looks this looks like it's falling over to me. Captured and um, uh, and that I think it has to do with the, the board, the way the board's running back at an angle. It looks like it's sliding off the table. Um, and that and it's very un, it's uncomfortable for me. Uh, love the highlight. Look at the great highlight in the board and in the green peppers and in the red peppers. Now this highlight here starts to break up and I think we need to get our light source in close, really, really close. And yeah, that's, uh, by the way, that's, that's, that's my favorite recipe for an omelet right there. <laughs> I don't need to be told what that is. Um, uh, getting, uh, getting a white card back here, Captured Grace, right back here. Um, thank you, I don't need that very much. Thank you very much. Back here would give this something to reflect, and I think that would be important. So it looks, my, it looks like my light is, I've got one from camera left coming into it one from camera right coming into it but I don't think I have anything from the back we need to light this up we need to keep get a bigger highlight on here it looks like to me maybe your lights were too far away we'll see let us know where they were Chris Fisher uh, nice beautiful clean shot here Chris uh, wow nice highlights all the way through here and then we've got that little kicker back here that is doing wonders for the strawberries and uh, kudos for finding good strawberries because they're hard to find I mean by Safeway has some good strawberries but they don't have very good uh, leaves on them they did last week but not this week uh, nice little highlights over here from your light source and I like your light source peering across the table here this has got a nice modern feel to it yeah very much let the highlight, yeah, I don't care if it's blown, screw it. It's just a highlight on a bottle. We don't care. The freshness of that, if we were sitting somewhere, that's exactly what it would look like. The sun was coming in over our shoulder at our at our strawberries. So we got a an ambient light that, that really takes care of the exposure. And then we have a uh, highlight uh, light from the back, a solid light from the back coming in. And that really gives us that feeling of daylight. Because it, we didn't shoot at that exposure. Do you see what I'm saying? We shot at the ambient exposure. This is the part of the of the banana we shot at. We let the the highlight go bright. Excellent. 
Good shot, Chris. Well done. I even like your little um, horizon there on that shot. S.D. Baker. Um, this is a kind of composition that's called Everything in Its Own Place. And um, at least that's what I call it. And you've done it well. Your, your positioning is nice. Everything's got its, you know, the, the, the distance between is pretty even. Here, uh, here, um, here. You know, you've got some nice things going on here. Nice composition overall. Now let's talk about the lighting. Beautiful. Love the light coming in over here. We've got a little bit of a specular here coming down and it goes right off to diffuse light all the way through back here but I like this feeling look at that little reflection of the bottom of this right we have those kind of little nice th moments happening there and over here the fill card obviously a fill card from this side to light these these things up uh, starts taking care of that it's also um, making our our uh, slate lit with little highlights from that side which we don't have up here so sometimes you got to watch that uh, I don't think that's bad, by the way. I don't think it's bad at all. It's just something that you need to be in control of because remember, we're in control of everything on these shots. Uh, kept your texture in the salt. I think it's just beautiful. Uh, I really do. I like the square composition too. Thank you. Steve G. Smith. Um, I like it. I think I would have liked it better without that front highlight or that front light. That front light doesn't do anything for this shot. I think it what it does is it kind of hurts the shot, as a matter of fact. I think maybe uh, that, that backlight would be bigger, so it's got a bigger um, uh, highlight here, specular. Backlight bigger, and in the front something soft. If you're going to use a soft box, maybe double diffuse it uh, or something to come in. So that part bothers me. Let me tell you what I love about the shot. I really like how you style the 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 green chili or uh, the green pepper here I love the light uh, coming through the uh, oil here that's very nice it gives us a real look how pretty this is right here I guess is what I'm saying and it just kind of goes away here you know we've got a spot and a spot and a spot and a spot we don't have the feeling of the roundness of the tomatoes wonderful styling on tomatoes you got perfect tomatoes for this for this uh, food shot uh, as well as perfect uh, uh, mushrooms as well. The garlic looks great. I love the little hot light coming across and catching this garlic right in here. Uh, more of that and less of this dull era area right here. Okay. Um, so good, solid uh, uh, photograph, uh, uh, solid attempt here. I think we just, I think this front light is just the one that's really going to give us fits. It makes it, this look too even in here. And we want it to feel like it's coming, like we have a source somewhere. Uh, Suki B. Um, beautiful liquid highlights. Got a light in close or a fill card in close over here. So we've got these beautiful liquid highlights. And this is kind of what I was talking in the previous image. On the garlic, we got a bright area and a darker area. On the leaves, a bright area and a darker, a right dark area. So we get this nice feeling of, of light to dark. Uh, Bread looks, looks a little uh weak to me only because it's the same color as the background right so how could we add a little bit to the bread well maybe that's where a grid spot comes in handy and we just zoom a little grid spot right down the edge of the bread without it catching our tomatoes uh just to hit the edges of that bread and then darken it back here so that we see the bread cut but we don't see the background we want to keep all the light up front uh, this 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 is almost working right here. Just we need a bigger one. We just need a bigger uh, highlight on that on that uh, bowl uh, the, on the liquid to let us know that it's liquid. Uh, composition really nice, really really nice composition. You stacked, you cropped, you cropped, you cropped, you cropped, and then you brought it right here. So the center of the of the thing is right here. So you can go out in concentric circles and pick up all of your recipe. Nice. Simbobs. All right, Simbobs. Let's see. The light looks like like it's coming from the right side front. Uh, front lighting on this kind of food is going to be problematic because it kills the texture 
uh, we don't see the texture in the in the raspberries where we would if we said we're using side light or backlight uh, we're also putting light on the bottom of these these frond leaves of the pineapple rather than the top so we don't have a feeling of of edge I I'm not crazy about your front lighting on this Simbobs I think it I think it it, it actually detracts from um, how pretty the rest of the of the shot is nicely styled beautiful raspberries good good pineapple uh, blueberries are nice this is very nice right in here this is nice um, and we're not helping it with that front light so yeah beautiful composition by the way little crop 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 bring it all into the middle solid AJ AJ okay uh, AJ's first AJ Hitch first uh, beginning photographer AJ it looks like it's out of focus to me um, so if and the light is too far away that's what's given us this get this same composition AJ and get it a little bit closer first of all we've got to figure out why your camera isn't um, focusing here because it's I don't see anything oh maybe that maybe it caught that as the focus you gotta make sure the focus is right down here compositionally I see what you're doing fine one two three four now make sure the bottoms of these see what I'm saying this one's right here that one's up a little bit make sure these are perfect best way to do it AJ is to get the camera on a tripod cords get them out just tape it up the back right here and let it go out of the picture a little bit of masking tape or something this get that cord going up the back don't let the cords go all jumbly like that that'll drive you crazy um, good good solid start your new photographer great I uh, think you're gonna improve like crazy p52 Martin all right uh, Martin got a nice little highlight right in here uh, this but I don't think it's big enough I think your lights too far away and that's what makes the an image look kind of flat it's kind of the same here as it is down here do have nice texture in the rice uh, and the meat doesn't look bad at all but we we got a nice bigger highlight here uh, we would have a, a nice diffused part of the meat a highlight part of the meat and the meat would look fresher so let's get that light right down on it compositionally it's like we have we've got stuff over here we've got stuff over here and we're not bringing it together all of this stuff actually has a line of demarcation here and all of these guys these guys all live here these guys all live here we need to if you're going to use this nice um, overlapping approach here where it's very dynamic uh, make sure that we get everything in there if uh, this this meat was over a little bit and the chili pepper was going over the bit of the meat and one or two of these leaves were coming into the meat you see what I'm saying everything would look like it ties together good Wow deep blue too that's a, a great light nice composition and a really solid approach I would I would I'm wondering if we could get this to go white back here what would happen right back here let it let it go out to the very very subtle gray here so we don't lose our our mushroom because of specular on it um, but if we clean that up a little bit we get a more of a gradation across the top of this and it might be pretty nice let's look at your lighting your lighting is uh, uh, is solid we've got the light big light source in close and it looks like we have a special as well deep blue uh, let me know if I'm right I think it looks like we have a uh, a secondary light from uh, well it looks like it's from this side and this side because we've got a nice highlight over here on this egg and we got a highlight on this side of the egg we have a highlight on this side of the of the uh, sausage and the bacon up here and we pick another one up down here so it's kind of a cross lit stuff very modern in approach and a real clean design uh, your your composition is is very tight styling um, yeah I, I I think I might have shined shined up <laughs> Uh, created a little bit more shine for the for the sausage here maybe with a, a paper towel just dabbed into uh, some olive oil and just uh, you know wiped on and then wiped off so it didn't go flat in here we get a little bit of a shine on that meat because it should shine 
Uh, great styling all the way through that. Two cockin, two cochin, cochin, two cochin, whatever. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, welcome to P52. Uh, we're shooting down on the on the set. That's fine. A little bit of a light area here. I don't know if that's light that we're using coming in. I can't really see where the light's coming from. Yeah, it looks like a little thing right there of light, and a little thing right there of light. I don't know how we did that. We have a setup shot here. Oh, no setup shot. Um, the picture's a little flat for me. Uh, the reason is there's nothing in here that's white, and I know that we should have some white. These these onion rings need to be brighter. They just need to be. You can Photoshop them up if you want, but I would probably bring the whole image up about a half a stop, uh, and then if those get a little bright, take them down uh, on their own. Um, background is a little bit uh, flat because it's the same color all the way through, uh, but that's okay. As far as your positioning, your composition, okay. Uh, same space, same space, same space, that works. I don't have a problem with the composition and I like the fact that you didn't you didn't crop this one out. You could have, but you didn't. Uh, so everything is contained within your frame. Good. All right. Page two. My, my. How many pictures do we have this time? I don't know, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. Jambo 600. Uh, real moody light. Um, getting that uh, that uh, spot above the top of it here. Looks like a small source. So we get these speculars. Really lighten up the tortillas. Got these heavy edge, very sharp edge shadows here that give it kind of a, a modern look. But we've lost the sides of our, you know, all we got's the top of it. This one, we got a little bit of the side of it. You know why? It's because your light's up here. It's lighting up the back side of this bell pepper. And that bell pepper is reflecting that bell pepper here and the side of it. Uh, onion's going dark because it's reflecting the black of the background. We lost this up here. We need to clean that. So I'm going to say you can go with the hard light. That's a that's a, certainly a, a stylistic thing. But don't forget that since it's food, we want to see it here. Right in here in a behind the scenes shot. Yes. See, we have a very small light source back there. And that small light source is going to give us hard shadows. There's just no way around it. Um, looks like another light up front here. It's just, oh, it's about, okay, this is giving the ambient. Okay, this is bouncing in the ceiling. This is giving us our backlight. Uh, and look how much how pretty this looks now here. See, so we can see both sides of these um, red, onion, red, red peppers. When we go back here, we kind of miss it. So you can use the hard light. That's very much a stylistic choice. No problem. Just make sure that we don't lose those edges. Scott Ellison. Scott. Lovely. I like your little container here. That light is just beautiful. Look at the great specular on the background right here. Angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So what we're seeing here is the soft box itself reflected on that um, semi-matte surface. Uh, it's one of those shots where everything's in its place, and they're nicely they're nicely placed apart. Everything's placed apart with a nice feel to it, and little things like bringing that that one over and that one over, letting these guys escape, are really fun. Um, the angle of the slate on the background works really well. It's just to the point where it doesn't look wrong. Two degrees to the right, and it would have looked kind of like it was crooked. But this doesn't look wrong, especially when we have this nice vertical coming right down through here. These guys go in. This guy goes out a little bit. These guys go in. This one goes out a little bit. So we all, we're playing with the angles all the way through here, you know, making it, making it work really well. I think I would have moved this over a little bit, but see, now we're into the, well, the way I would have done it. And that's not the point. This is the way you did it. I think you did a very nice job on it. A little bit of fill right up front here. Looks like we're getting right in here. Definitely in here. Uh, I can see something there. Oh, that actually might be the garlic right in there. So, yeah. 
Wow, nice, nice shot. That's a keeper. Robert Pack, 84, uh, went with a real clean background, real nice and uh, uh, even background. It's a little bluish gray, which kind of tells me that maybe that can come up a little bit. Um, specular is too small for this, this shot. It's so far away, we've got to get that specular to be bigger on these things because it looks just like a little highlight. This looks like this looks like daylight actually, uh, in a way. Daylight maybe with a little, um, a little bit of cloud or something to give this, because we still have a sharp edge to the shadow, sharpish edge to the shadow, and the shadows are fairly deep, but we have that small specular, and if we get that light in closer, Robert, that would really really help behind the scenes. Uh, okay, great, just exactly right. Your light, this light right here, should be right down there. This should be right down there. Put your light, so, here's what I want you to do, guys, uh, all of you, not just not just Robert here. Uh, put your light so close that it's in the shot. Move it up until it's out of your shot. Start there and move back. Don't start back and move forward. Start so close and then move back. It's the best way for sure to do those things. Okay, we have Trip Barker, mozzarella. We got this is um using some depth of field here to keep the eye focused up front. We got the oats or whatever those things are. Uh, oatmeal pancakes. All right. Um, so nice feeling, except the light looks like it's forward instead of back. And because it's forward, the the shape of the egg, uh, we get that little little guy right here. It's the only specular that we can really see right there and right on top of the, uh, um, what is that stuff? Oatmeal, whatever that stuff is to make the oatmeal pancakes with. Um, and then the edges of all this shiny stuff that's really reflecting behind us, behind this set, is rendering all this stuff to go dark. Um, the light is falling away from us. We kind of want the light to fall towards us, usually on a shot like this. So um, um, I, the, the design works fine. I think it's very clever. One egg and the oats and the, uh, looks like applesauce to me. Is that what it is? Hey! Um, wow, that actually sounds really good, doesn't it? <laughs> um, uh, then the... Uh, uh, this would this would look more alive and more um, fresh if the light was from back. So try that next time, Trip, uh, and we'll see what happens with it. Midland, middle the end, middle the end. Um, okay, we've got the two plates here with the garlic out front. Things just look a little scattered here, here, Dwayne. And what I'd like to do is to is to get make these things fit together tighter and definitely uh, one of the things that's making the the shot not work is that front light with it, casting that shadow away I think what we have to, to to think about when shooting food especially like this on plates because we, we've, we lose all our texture to the plate we lose the dimension to the plate um, is to is to keep the light from either uh, not full 90 but just a little bit back so it's from here like this to about there once it crosses to the 90 and in front it's not going to work very very well it, it's going to take us a, 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 it's a special a situation when it's lit from the front not a not special a special situation when it's lit from the front so let's get that light to the back and get those shadows cast forward that'll make the meat look a lot better and you're so far away, we can't see what these things are. So tighten this up. Dwayne, we, we don't need to see all of this. We don't need to see all of this. We can bring all of this in really tight, bring in the bottle of the vinegar, bring this into the top, and tighten this thing up about 50%. Gallery of Mirrors. Gallery of Mirrors, beautifully done. Um, I love that you, she, he or she is this person. Gallery of Mirrors, we don't know. Oh, so Gallery, 
um, created the uh, the whole thing here nicely done That's, I'm gonna print that out because it looks delicious look at the beautiful light here light from the back casting these little shadows forward obviously have some fill to the front because we can see it right here on this little guy we can see it right here you see it that's that's something up front bouncing back to the camera because as this Brussels sprout goes over the top here it goes darker until it picks up the reflection of the backlight uh, cleverly designed food shot nice and clean I maybe would have said hey let's uh, dust a little bit of uh, a little spritzer water down these uh, green onions to make them look a little fresh but you know that's a that's a design thing and thank you for not showing me a bunch of undersides of cilantro those are never gonna work no looks like they all look pretty good uh, cilantro is a, a real beast to shoot trust me uh, this looks good in here this is a great it's a great little shot gallery of mirrors and a great little shot that's a keeper you should be very happy with that oh Alyssa okay Alyssa um the shots are really flat and that's because our light looks like it's coming right down on the top if we took this same composition that you have here and moved our light to the back or to the side back and got those highlights along the edges of the potatoes this way and threw a little bit of shadow this way we have a little soft shadow here um, getting a very hard shadow to the right of this bowl and right here we get it looks like we got two lights going here we got a little shadow here here we've got to um, we've got to bring in some scrims here um, it's like we gonna need to do a little class on how to build scrims all right we'll do that um, so we got to get this this light to be softer compositionally it's a little bit everything's a little bit too far away remember when I talk about uh, things being uh, deliberate okay so we have a very small space here and then we have this very big space and we have a big space and we have a big space and we have an overlap so try to find that mix uh, or the or that you're either going to overlap everything or if you put things in its own place maybe they have their own that, that that distance that makes it make sense and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's all by eye you go oh you know what I, it's not going to follow that rule it has to be here um, but we need to we need to spice that shot up a, a bunch Stephen Smith Smitty um, same thing I'm not crazy about those front lights I think that the shots very colorful it's it's very colorful well yeah uh, you know what Smitty this is a uh, Stephen this is kind of a, a stylistic choice on your on your your end because I I said I don't really like that and I realized I just saw some shots I think they were in the airline uh, magazine uh, last month that were shot like this uh, with that kind of uh, really bright poppy front lighting and it's a style so if that's the style you were going for I'm not gonna I don't have anything to say about that that's fine absolutely fine um, really clean this up tweezers tweezers tweeze this in as best you can uh, and then uh, you, the rest of this uh, is re really nicely done. I like the way we've stacked these in here. One more grape right here. We don't want to see grape stems. Right here. One more grape so we don't see grape stems. Nice styling on the food. By the way, you picked out some good food and very uh, interesting bright uh, colors. Um, I'm liking this one better than this one. So number one for me. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Front lighting is a uh, is a new kind of thing. Ego f stop. Okay, I don't know why it's jumping around, folks. Sorry. Uh, Ego f stop. Let's see if we're going to show this edge. Ego, it's got to be absolutely straight, and there's got to be a reason for it. It's got to be a reason for for us looking at this horizon line. Okay, I think you're too far forward with your camera and too far back bring your camera up a little bit and down this is 
usually never done. If it gets up on the bowl, you gotta wipe it down with uh, uh, paper towel on a Q-tip or Q-tips, uh, get it clean or just pour it out and start over again with another pour. Um, looks like the light's coming from front and I think that's one of the problems with the shot. It's kind of making it dull and we don't have any definition on our, our items here because of that, that dullness to it. Um, so, uh, get your light back to the, to the side or the back, whatever, get a card or something in there, and get your camera in closer. Work on this composition, getting it in much closer. Guacamole with strawberries and habanero. <laughs> oh, man. Strawberries and habanero. <laughs> Actually, I had to take a drink after reading that one. Um, wow, I really like this picture. Whose is this? Chris3031, I like this picture, Chris. You got in close. So few people did, and that's fine. No problem. I don't think, you know, that you have to do everything in close or everything far away. It's your shot. Um, but you brought us right into the mix. I like the little salt things right here. I like your lighting. We got some lighting from the side. You see how it comes from the side? So we get this nice spot, high, nice highlight here, highlight here. And yet, and we get the shape of the strawberry. And yet we don't have um, little little spots of light. We've got big areas of light. Um, the lemon, the habanero, salt, everything lives. This is nicely, nicely done. Look at all the textures. Um, lighting setup. Wow. Okay. Yep, that works for me. <laughs> Two big, big uh, uh, soft shoot-through umbrellas there coming through. Uh, you can see where the need for big scrims in food photography. Um, <laughs> uh, very good. Um, lessons learned. Very good. Very clever. Uh, beautiful shot. Really solid. Solid. Wendy Dunn. I like this shot too. It's very muted colors look at that isn't it interesting we go from uh this is twice we've done that gone from these very vivid colors to kind of a muted color i think your light's too small and too far away and giving us these funky little shadows that that are, don't make sense to the eye that this one over here that's because you have a light from this side and we don't need that light if the light's in really close we're going to see uh, the nice highlights on the bananas. This is, in fact, this area right here is kind of pretty. Um, right here. See how the highlights on the, uh, whatever that is there, um, nice and bright on this side. It goes dark, so we get shape to that. We get shape to the nuts. Um, and then when we get out to the bananas, we've lost it because the lighting is really, um, it's just a little bit, it's too small, too far away, and it gives it, and it's flat. So uh, let's let's clean that up. Compositionally, I like it. Um, we cropped, we cropped, we cropped, we cropped. Solid, good, good. I think a lot of you guys doing that on just on your own. I mean, you don't have to be told. Crew, crew. Wow, pretty. Um, exposure looks a little little under. Just we're talking a third. I just crank it up one third, uh, only because it looks a little bit dead in here. Uh, if you're using Lightroom, maybe go into Lightroom and add a little clarity to it, or a little bit more contrast or something like that. I think it just looks a little flat to me, and yet I can see the lighting isn't flat, if that makes sense. The lighting doesn't look flat at all. Got a little specular back here on the on the surface, which is light, giving us a nice light area against the, the dark potato and then it falls off dark. You see how it does that? It lets, it's almost like a little self-contained uh, halo around this stuff that helps balance it to the front. Um, yep, you got, a little, see, you got a little specular on there. I would bring that up, crew. I think I would grit that up just a little bit in there so we can really see that specular on the top of the, of the liquid. This works right in here. Don't let this, don't let this uh, top of the garlic get lost in the background 
Let's, let's get down a little bit sharper in there. So a uh, beautiful shot. It's just really well composed. I like the shot. Everything about it works very well. Um, we just need to get this thing to snap a little bit more. Digital is always soft. Barefoot fin. Um, looks like a, 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 an omelet to me. Uh, and, and now Barefoot's using a... Uh, uh, let's see. Barefoot's using a... a nice poppy light from the back which has a feeling of sunlight and direction and using the shadows as part of the composition do you see that the shadows are part of this picture they're an important part of the picture um and they're there on purpose i know because we have a fill card up front here you see it well this are these two eggs here uh reflecting back in but you see this right here something's happened up front here to not let those eggs go totally in the, sh in, the, in the shadow. And that may simply be this bright uh, surface here giving us a little bit of an edge. But it's it's done uh, deliberately. These shadows work very well. Compositionally, easy and fun. Easy to, easy to work with. Uh, tangent, tangent, that's fine because they're touching. Um, they're going to do that. Uh, my only thing is I think I would probably would have brought this one in too. Um, then they overlap this, so they have a nice feel to them. But your cheese looks good. Green peppers look pretty darn good. And the onions did not lose the texture, which is hard to do with onions. Give me breaking. All right. So we've got a you know nice light to the, looks like the lights are above it. Um, so we got a nice, look how pretty the highlight is. Look how pretty the tomatoes are. Now, the styling in here, uh, it's going to take a little bit of work as you start to play with these things down down the road. Um, he's sitting off by himself. I'm getting back into the to the group here. Uh, the, the onion, if we turn, see how pretty the highlight is on this onion here? How pretty? Might turn this one up just a little bit. Mm, or maybe not. Sorry about that. Take a drink. Uh, but what, what I don't like is losing the focus of the mushrooms up front. I don't like that much at all. And let's get this thing straight. If we're going to use this diamond shape, let's get straight on that diamond shape and make it work. And, and let's take this background down about 10, 15%. So the eye doesn't wander back there. You could even actually crop it for that matter to about there or maybe a little bit above there. Um, Second shot, I like better. I like better. Uh, looks like the light's right above it, and it's we're getting some real glare here. So be real, be really, really careful with that. Uh, and I, I do, I, I do think if you're going to use these edges, then use them. If you're not, forget it. Move it out to the middle of the tile, and just give me the tile. I like that shot better. Alan Buxton. Uh, cutting tray, well deliberately styled uh, here. It looks like, yeah, that looks right. Uh, good fill card to the front, giving us all this nice light up here, or it just simply could be this uh, reflecting a lot more of this cutting board in front of us because it does go from edge to edge. Whatever it takes, uh, they look silver. They look polished. They die right in here, and I don't want them to die because this one's got a nice, nice edge on it. Uh, get a white card back here, lit up somehow, catching a little bit of the light at a point where these guys can see it and let them, it'll gradient because it's these, these aren't chrome. They've got a little bit of a tooth to them, and then they'll, they'll gradiate, uh, gradiate that light in. So angle of incidence, angle of reflection. Uh, these guys die. We can't let these guys die. If we can't see what they are, we've got a problem. So um, the nuts are fine. This is fine. These guys uh, are not working. And I'm looking at the specular on them. It looks to me like a very small light source. You see that? Maybe bring that light source in much closer. Good. Chicken kebabs. Wow. Look at look at this, Anna. Beautiful. Uh, is this Max Leaper? Huh? Uh, beautiful still life. 
Love the texture, the paper, the torn paper. All of this looks very, very solid and a nice, um, fun, playful setup here. Um, the, these guys, look how beautifully styled they are. Uh, to make the chicken look a little bit fresher, might take, again, a little bit of olive oil on a Q-tip and just wipe the edges, just corners of it, maybe this one here and there so it looks like it's hot right off the grill. You might try that on some of the peppers. Not the whole pepper, just little areas so it looks like it's hot and just came off the grill. I love the specular back here coming across here, this uh, this paper. Uh, so much to like about that shot. So much to like. Nice. Mac, Mac Philippe. Um, I like your highlight right here in the middle. That uh, specular really sets off the background. You haven't lost any texture, which is hard to do when you're shooting dark and bright. Uh, kept the texture. Your composition's really fun. Just everything off to the side, uh, kind of this stuff's so kind of uh, scattered around, etc. And yet, look how perfectly these line up. See what I'm saying? It's very deliberate photography. Boom, boom, yeah. Uh, uh, this more of this, more of this, Mac Philippe, more of this absolute, um, absolute attention to detail. That's what we need. Craig, 2013. Okay, spicy eggs over easy. All right, um, Craig, it's it's um, a little flat. Look, I'm looking at your your highlight. Looks to me like it's a nice highlight. Do we have a? Oh, we don't have a behind the scenes. The light looks a little flat to me. Um, shooting on black can be very, very tricky. Um, uh, we got this this bright area of white in here, bright, bright area of white in here. I'm just not sure that's as white as it could be because this looks a little gray. To me, this sugar looks a little gray. Um, this looks a little gray to me as well. Uh, bring, try to bring your exposure up a little bit or see if you can add a little pop to these because your light source looks looks you know like it's fairly decent size um, I think it looks like it's more from the front than it is from the back and maybe that's what's causing a, a little mic yeah I can see where it no it looks like it's a little bit to the back this way is that what it's doing nope nope it's this way uh, so it's a little bit to the front and it should be a little bit to the back let's try that try moving that up uh, compositionally um, Everything's nice and tight, and these guys, these two guys here, should be next to each other. They're the cracked egg. Get them next to each other and get them in under this bowl or something right in here so everything connects very well. Good. Uh, shooting on black is a, a tough one to go. Um, nice attempt. It's a seriously nice attempt. Okay, JMPHG. Um, it's a little flat exposure looks right white onions white onions are also known as photo hell sorry but they are they're terribly difficult to photograph you kept some texture in here my hats off to you that's hard to do because onions almost glow when, when you hit them with light uh, that's hard to do However, I would go back in here, maybe in Photoshop or uh, Ele uh, Lightroom, and add some more clarity or some contrast right to the, these two onions right here. You got a beautiful highlight here, beautiful highlight here, and then the, the limes kind of die here. And had we tipped those limes back so that the angle of incidence would have hit the lime the same way it hit the top of this tomato, this uh, plum tomato, and right here, hit that then these guys would just simply uh, pop with a little speculars on all the little edges and all you have to do is have one of them do that by the way you don't have, to have all of them do it just one of them to give it a nice a nice feel uh, watch your cilantro a lot of um, uh, funky little leaves in here well not that many but it looks a little jumbled because we're at one point here we're seeing more stems than we are cilantro okay so over that Beautiful styling up here, yes. Plum, the uh, plum tomatoes look great. Italian tomatoes. This the pepper looks great. Everything's good. Nice composition. Three and three, two and two. Wraps around. Good. 
Melissa Ann went for the shooting straight down shot and did a nice job. Melissa Ann, this is uh, real pretty and real modern. Uh, everything's in its place. Look at this. We've got this little shapes going here in the pastas and the noodles. Uh, this is cropped out at the top. These are cropped out at the bottom. That's fantastic. This dies because we don't know what it is. Somehow we can't lose this this white here. Well, I don't know what that is. If it's milk or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. two and third cups of water. Do, 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 do. Don't know what that is. But but we we've got to know what that is somehow. Here you did it beautifully. Okay, uh, the peanut butter looks good. Uh, lighting is a nice big light source. I can tell because I can see it right here. Nice big light source in close. Melissa Ann, nice shot. Uh, Sefton, welcome, welcome. Um, much prefer the top shot. Uh, I don't know why. Yep, much prefer the top shot. I like the design of the top shot. I like this little skillet coming straight down. This guy coming in over here. Um, and before someone says, well, I thought we could only use one utensil, the, the skillet's being used as the background. That's the utensil. The skillet is the background um, sitting on the table. Uh, milk looks pretty good. Could use that little highlight there. The eggs look nicely lit. The skillet looks great. I love this, uh, where we can see the texture because of the specular. Uh, looks like the side, light's to the side. Throwing a shadow this way. Uh, clean and nicely done. Don't, don't crop off the edge of the skillet if you don't have to. And in this particular case, you didn't have to. As a matter of fact, it would have been stronger to give me the same amount of space on this side of the skillet as over, right over here. Add that space. I think it would have been plenty strong to do that. Solid. Solid, solid. Nick G. Um, okay. Light's coming from very far in the back. And throwing shadows to the forward and Nick was asking me earlier today you know, like on a, uh, another call um, how to get this uh, avocado uh, to look poppier. I think in this particular case is where you're gonna have to grab some aluminum foil or something um, to get a little bit more kick to it. Um, so we've got our light coming from the back looks like we've got maybe some fill coming from up front but we're gonna have to kick this up just a little bit um, moisten it and get some aluminum foil and that'll give us a nice bright edge here and again it might be just a little strip of aluminum foil because we don't need to add anything to this cheese that looks good the eggs look good milk looks good Got a little bit of bubbles in the back of the milk that grits great this looks all all fresh and everything just got to fix that avocado And there we go. There's Nick's setup. And he's got a little bright uh, highlight right here coming back on that flower. That's what you're seeing right in here. It's just not it's not getting on this uh, avocado, Nick, and that's where we need it for sure. Okay, and there we go. Uh, what a wonderful set of images, folks. Fantastic, fantastic. We will have a uh, uh, webinar for you guys set up next Wednesday. Um, so will be a uh, will not be a review of images. It'll be a chance to discuss what you're doing uh, and discuss specific images that you've shot, questions, etc. So watch for the sign up for the webinar next Wednesday. It's a week from yesterday. <clears throat> if you're keeping track of the dates, that will be here. I can do that actually down here. That will be next Wednesday, the twentieth. It'll be at seven p.m. Arizona time. I think we're on mountain. We are on uh, daylight savings at that point. So we'll have to see what that does. I don't know what that does. We'll have to figure it out. Every every year it does it. I can't remember if we move you guys up or back or which way it goes. But that's coming up. Fantastic set of images. Thanks everyone for participating in the uh, essentials part of lighting. Uh, uh, I'm a project 52. I uh, enjoy having you here. Enjoy working with you, and look forward to meeting some of you uh, next Wednesday night.